running around our home. I, I, I see them playing. I, I, I see the laughter. What do you see? I see them too. Ugh, too bloody. something. Why are you so annoying? Huh? Hey, stranger. Hey. Are you okay? Why? Why are you so proud? Proud? A week without you apologizing. A week. We went a week without speaking to each other. Like, what you did wasn't enough. Listen, I, I honestly don't know how to apologize. I mean, say I'm sorry seems too easy, plus you've heard it way too many times before. Right. So you'd rather watch our relationship go down the train? Who dramatic. are you? I have been dramatic. <laughs> dramatic? Oh, wait, you have not seen anything you're doing. Look, baby, don't walk away. I mean, you know, there's so many things that I want to say to you, so let's just talk about I don't see you. not what we think. You might just be reacting to something you ate. I don't think so. My period is late and I've been researching on how I'm feeling and Google says I'm 90% pregnant. Well, Google isn't a doctor or a pregnancy kid. You do have a kid, right? Okay, I'm just wrapping my head around having kids before our two-year agreement. So, no, I don't have a pregnancy kit. I don't know what I love more about you. Your drama or your naivety. Mm. I'll just ignore that. So, let's go get the kit. I'll wait outside while you go and get it. No, no don't give me that look. It's not a guy thing. For instruction's sake, I might be too nervous to write down notes properly. Fine, just for instruction's sake. <laughs> and more importantly, that little tomato that might be growing in there. Okay. <laughs> Don't get too excited. You know, sometimes when I'm stressed emotionally, my body reacts in the weirdest ways. Imagine if you were in the Netherlands and this happened with you all alone. I'd be going bonkers. Yeah, about that. Yeah. I love being with you. I mean, my day literally starts when I wake up and see you lying next to me. So forgive me if I couldn't fathom the distance. I'm mm. serious. Right. <laughs> it just sounds like a cheesy line stolen from a movie. Those lines, 100% original. <laughs> Plus, I know you know that it wasn't about support. I mean, you wouldn't have married me if you didn't feel that your dreams are safe with me. I got upset because you made it feel like I was the cause of everything and that I wasn't doing enough that you you could honestly think about leaving me. And I just couldn't. I'm sorry I upset you, I really am. Jerk. I will 
want you to know that sometimes I'm going to have to put me first. And I need you to be okay with that. I got it. I'm learning. Well, I am sorry for putting such pressure on you. I can't believe my heart races at the thought of a baby girl in there. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Her bedroom, her clothes, all the colors. <laughs> oh my God, T. It's a boy. I trust my swimmers. You're disgusting. brought in stashes of hard currency cash. She wants us to handle the PR for her uh, political campaign. I was shook. <laughs> hmm. This country. I mean, I love the ambition of Nigerians, but sometimes it's just negative energy, man. Mm -hmm. Like, how do they have stashes of cash in their house? How? I know, it's almost like our hustling spirit is like a blessing and a curse. So is your uncle gonna take the retainership? Uh, of course. I mean, it's business. He's not gonna care where she got the money from. Hi. Aww. <clears throat> Aww. Hi. Hi. Hello, madam. Hi, how are you? Hello, Nadine. Oh. Nadine. Are you my friend? You're my friend. <laughs> okay, let's move it. Let's, let's move, move it. it. Let's go. Move it. Let's see it. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. You okay? I think I might have gotten a little too excited about being pregnant. I'm nervous. What, what if I'm not? I'm nervous too. Can we just go? I've lost my appetite. Yeah, sure. It's, it's negative. Okay. It'll happen soon. It's not like we were expecting it, right? And right now, what we need to worry about is your health. We need to book an appointment at the clinic tomorrow. But at the hotel, I was off protection and planning. So why won't I get pregnant? Isn't it supposed to be that easy? Wait, so you you think there might be something wrong? Come on. It's our first attempt. Don't let that scare you. We're gonna have kids. There's there's something you should know. What is it? Mom had difficulty getting pregnant for years. Uh, she and dad had to wait like 18 years before they even had me. It, it was more like a, a miracle baby situation. They had even lost hope and decided on adoption and after me, they couldn't have any more children. Are you saying that there might be a problem? I mean, you're not your mom. Yeah, I, I know, but it, it might be a generational thing. Like a curse? Not 
Don't get all spooky on me. Not, not a curse. I don't know, maybe it's just something that's common on my mom's side of the family. Because even mom's mom had the same difficulty as well. And my mom's sister, she's still on the family prayer list for conception. I don't mean to scare you or anything. I just, I just think it's something you should pay attention to. T. Come on. Your hands. Okay. We have to agree in faith. Okay. Dear God. Once again, everything is about to peacefully in the land. Um It says here that you're negative and you have internal stress. Yeah, I know. I, I just needed to double check, you know, so I just went to a proper clinic. I could have sworn I felt pregnant. You know what bothers me a little is this whole late pregnancy thread thing that you mentioned. Yeah, but T doesn't think much of it. I mean, we've prayed, but I still feel kind of bugged about it, you know? You've spoken to your mom about the pregnancy scare? What? My mom. Okay, you know how dramatic she can get. She'll turn this thing into a spiritual warfare. Well, ever since I got pregnant, I've taken this whole spiritual thing a little more serious. Because I've been having dreams about miscarriages, dying during labor. Okay, that's just your mind, Carrie, okay? You're scared, and it's okay. I just, I don't think it's spiritual. Mom introduced me to this pastor. You know, he counsels Sam and I from time to time and sends me warfare prayers. Warfare? Mm hmm He calls himself the Mountain Uprooter. It's a little weird, but, you know, he's legit. Mountain Uprooter? Okay, that's a sham, Carrie. You're being paranoid. No, I'm not. His ministry helps uproot mountain from people's lives, and this looks like a mountain to me. Okay, I don't know what worries me more. I mean, the name Mountain of Rooter or the seriousness on your face while you talk about his ministry of uprooting mountains. Girl, you have got to ring the alarm. Okay, Carrie, I don't think I have any mountains that needs uprooting, okay? Dude, look, I know it sounds weird, especially his name, and I know how you feel, but he's, he speaks wisdom. I mean, we can go, he would give you scriptures to pray with and pray with you. Who knows, this thread thing might be a little more serious than we think it is. You can talk to T about it. No. Okay, T thinks I'm already spooky about giving thought to this whole thread thing and a mountain of roots are really carry. <laughs> okay, stop, you're crazy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and are you sure she's not pregnant? Yeah. They said it's internal stress. Well, there isn't any problem, Abby. Now that both of you are considering having a baby, it will happen. But mommy, she said that her mom had the same difficulty in getting pregnant. And not just her mom, her, her mom's sister and her grandma, they all experience this lateness in, in getting pregnant. Oh, no, Ronije. It will not happen in my time. She when I'll be screaming, go to church. You people will not listen. Mommy. You people better come to Ibadan. Let me take you to Pastor Solo. He has been complaining that you did not bring a day day to, 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 to see him. Mommy, it's not that serious. We've already prayed. Let's not create a mountain out of this. I was just telling you so that. This is the same issue I had with your father. You and this your Igbo mentality. Don't you know that this life is not ordinary? Okay, I need to go. Take care. Jeez. <laughs> We're skin to skin tonight. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. What? I'm super horny. Are you trying to get us to make a baby? This is fraud. D don't you want to have a baby? I mean, aren't you worried? What's going on with all of you? We are fine, Dede. What's with the sudden craze of getting pregnant? I just want to make sure that I don't have a problem, okay? I want to carry your baby. I don't want to starve you of children. Hmm? You 
don't have a problem. Can you please give this thing a break before you start stress puking again? You know what? I don't want to hear about pregnancy anymore. It's starting to piss me off. Okay, but what if it's it's spiritual? A, a, a lineage? Stop. Okay, well, um, Carrie told me about a pastor named Martin Opruta and he can pray and guide me with some scriptures. <laughs> okay, the look on your face right now is priceless. Mountain Apruta. You're crazy. No, I'm serious. There's actually a pastor out there named Mountain Apruta. You know, my mother was telling me about another one named Pastor Solo. <laughs> is that like solo in Solomon? Is it like solo when you're solo? Look, babe, it's not that I'm undermining spiritual. I think that it's important that we pray and go to church on Sundays. I'm just saying that right now there's no cause for alarm. Hmm? Okay. I got you. I will not bring it up again. Thank you, promise. Positive vibes only. Yeah? And can you please stop telling Carrie every time you sneeze? Mountain of Fruta. Jeez. I swear that woman has the most weird pregnancy pattern ever. <laughs> I know. And I can't wait to make fun of her when she finally has the baby. And you are a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. Are you sure we shouldn't consider Pastor Solo? <laughs> Get off me. Weirdo. <laughs> Ah. Hello, you lovely lady. Why don't you come back? Oh, you look tired. Are you okay? Uh, I got back this morning. I'm so jet-packed. You shouldn't be here. Your aunt has smoke coming out of her ears right now. <laughs> oh, you need to go home and get some rest. I mean, they haven't seen you in two weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I called you here because I need to give you an assignment. Oh, okay. Sure, anything. Good. So, um, a very good friend of mine I met about um, two years ago. Um, she's very young and smart. She's about to launch an initiative for the um, creative industry in Africa. I am sort of a uh, board member and I'll be covering the cost and um, direction of PR. Oh, wow. That's, that's a huge plus. Yes. Yeah, but I have clients here who pay me for my time, so I can be hands-on. I want you to be on top of it, all right? I will send you a brief, and you get back to me with a PR plan by the end of the week. Great. That sounds good, and I will be glad to do that. Uh, yeah. Another thing, the PR is more focused on her as a brand, and not the initiative itself, all right? That's the direction, okay. all right? So I want people to be more interested in the initiative because of her, okay? Okay. You get it? Yeah, I get it. Good. Um, so, what what is her name? Just before I get the brief. Yeah, um, Adora Mbelo. Okay, yeah. great. So, um, I'll wait for the brief and then I'll get to work. Okay? Okay. All right. And, oh, Uncle, I'm sending a driver to come get you in 30 minutes. You need to go home and rest. No, it's just that Uncle, I... Uncle, 30 minutes, please. <laughs> okay. I got it. 30 minutes. All right. Bye.
she's here. Day Day Mwenda? Yes, ma'am. Okay, please give me a minute. How many minutes do I have with her? You have just 10 minutes with her. Okay, let's help. By the way, Ma, you look so nice. I've been meaning to tell you that. Thank you very much, but hurry, please. Okay. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. And you look gorgeous, quite different. Oh, thank you very much. My stylist insisted that I have a makeover for a corporate ball that I'm attending. So here I am, obeying orders. <laughs> All right, shoot. I have nine minutes left with you. Okay, so I requested to meet you because I had loads of questions on the initiatives, but it seems you're busy, so we can we can reschedule. Oh yeah, this ball was impromptu, but um, you should have been informed, I'm sorry. It's okay. How's next week Wednesday? Does that work? Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me take this. Oh, hi, Boo Boo. How are you? How was school today? Was it good? No? Why? All right, you know what? We'll talk about it when mommy gets home, okay? Give the phone to daddy. Yeah, hi, babe. Thanks for covering for me today. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'll be home soon and then we'll talk about everything. All right, take care. Thanks for covering for me. Bye. <sighs> Mommy duties plus wifey plus boss duties. <laughs> yeah, and you slay them all. Oh, thank you very much. Lucky. Funny thing is, we weren't even sure we were going to have him because two years before we had him, um, I was diagnosed with ovarian cysts and then the doctor said to me I couldn't have kids. While we were getting married, um, you know when you're dancing and everyone kind of tells you that in nine months time you're going to have a child? We thought it was very funny because we didn't think we were going to have a child and then it turns out nine months later I was having nausea and just feeling uncomfortable and I was pregnant. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry, my time's up. How does next week Wednesday sound? Great, um, I'll be there. Thank you so much for your time. Great work on your initiative. Bless. I particularly love the Arts for Cause initiative. Oh bless, thank you very much. You're absolutely fine. They they wonder. You have these babies. <laughs>